Many kids use these fields in the Queens section of New York to play sports like baseball or soccer. But as the demographics of the communities surrounding these parks shift, so too do the games played on them. Faced with an influx of new immigrants, the New York City Police Department, already the sponsor of several sports leagues, needed a way to reach out to these burgeoning ethnic groups. And they seem to have found it in cricket. An open-air game played between teams of 11 players on a large grass field with balls, bats, and two wickets. The object of the game? For your team to score more runs than the opposition. Deputy Inspector Amin Kosim runs special projects for the department's Community Affairs Bureau. It helps occupy their time in the summer. It helps maybe keep them out of trouble, which is always a great thing. Now in its second year, the league has grown from six to ten teams, with 170 players. <laughs> Alfaz Ali is from Guyana and has been playing for nine years. He says cricket's popularity is growing in New York, even though it's still not widely understood. The remarks we usually hear is a copy of a baseball, and it's like we think baseball is a copy of a cricket, vice versa. Putting together the league is hard work. We have to go out in communities, we have to draw interest, we have to put rosters together, we have to get coaches, we have to get managers, uh, we provide transportation, we supply all the equipment, the uniforms for them, we get the permits for the fields. It's rather overwhelming at times. Uh, when you see the kids' faces, it's all worth it. And although the police say they do not use the program to recruit, players like Hanzia Munir from Pakistan are already thinking about a career in law enforcement. I would love to get it in because I would, I would love to be a cop. And, and the second thing, you're supporting your, what you call a community, and I would love to do that. An ambition that supports the NYPD's view that the program is helping the department make contact with the Muslim community a group police have struggled to reach in the past. Paige Hollick, VOA News, New York.